Hi everyone, uh, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, uh, this is Rabi al Matarne, the CTO of Startfy. We are here today to speak about what's next for NFTs after the gold rush is over. Uh, I hope uh, this topic is interesting enough for people to tune in and listen. Uh, so my agenda for today is, uh, what's an NFT anyways? Uh, we are discussing today. Uh, why we should care about this NFT thing everybody is talking about uh, these days. Uh, what's the NFT landscape today? Uh, who's using it? How? Uh, that's something we need to kind of talk about. Then uh, where are we headed with this whole NFT thing? Um, that's very important to discuss. Uh, and finally, uh, I would like to talk, touch a little bit on how is Startify leveraging NFTs? Uh, what we exactly doing at Startify? You can consider this a use case uh, or, or like uh, maybe uh, just uh, um, an idea of how, how what's, what's people, what are people doing about, uh, with NFTs? All right, so this is the agenda, let's get uh, started. Uh, what's what's an NFT? Uh, NFT stands for non fungible token. I know this didn't say much. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure maybe last year, if till anybody NFT or non fungible token token, they wouldn't know what you were talking about. So what does that really mean? Uh, non fungible token means exactly uh, unique. A token that is unique. So uh, if I have a Bitcoin, uh, someone else has a Bitcoin, we exchange these, fine. We both uh, walk away with, uh, still we walk away with uh, one Bitcoin. So, so they are exchangeable. Uh, and NFTs are not, NFTs are unique uh, because each NFT uh, uh, has certain attributes or certain claims within them, uh, which make them uh, unique. So that's exactly the essence of uh, of uh, an NFT. Uh, also, NFT can be considered a digital asset. It's a token at the end of the day, right? So, if someone is willing to pay the money or see the value in owning that NFT, regardless what kind of uh, attribute it has, of course, it can be considered uh, uh, a digital asset and it would have a value on its own. Um, this is when things get interesting for NFTs. NFTs can be uh, used as digitally claimed to owning other digital assets or really any kind of assets. So th this is exactly why we are here today. NFTs uh, can be considered claims or certificates or pointers, references, whatever you want to call it, to other assets so that's that's very very powerful and can be uh, can be leveraged to build systems uh, around this very very con uh, very exact concept uh, also nft can can con uh, can contain fin financial uh, rules uh, nft is a token uh, it can have its own smart contract which means it can have its own business rules. So if we're talking assets, we're talking financial rules. So that means in concept, NFTs can give you that. So in conclusion, we're talking about NFT, uh, a unique digital asset can point to other digital assets and also can have financial rules within it. That's my personal, uh, personal um, definition of NFTs. All right, I think this might be enough for defining what what uh, what an NFT is. Uh, why should we care about NFTs? Uh, what's the big deal? Uh, first, ownership is is transforming. Back back in the day, uh, way back in the day, ownership looked like this. A couple of items uh, our ancestors could survive with. Uh, to live uh, 40, 50 years if they were lucky. So 
nothing really interesting. Uh, it's just uh, I want to start with the, this uh, back in the day uh, kind of uh, uh, ownership because it's always fascinating to me personally, but we are more interested into this. If you go back like 20, 30, 40 years uh, back, uh, ownership looked like this. Humans on average own uh, 300, on average 300,000 uh, items. This is th like, this is a lot, right? Like, on, like we own a lot of items. Even if you look around you now, uh, around the desk on your screen, we have a lot. You, you, humans or like people like to own stuff. Back in the day, most of this stuff were physical, as you can see in like books, um, music records, um, videotapes, uh, watches, a lot of things, physical things. Uh, nowadays, after the, like talking about after like everybody uses the internet, and uh, everybody uh, likes digital uh, assets. So the scene looks like this. Uh, most of our stuff are transforming. Not only we owning more, but we owning more digital items or assets. Uh, so we don't have uh, video tapes. We have uh, videos uh, sitting on our like uh, servers, uh, home owned servers, or like in, in the cloud, wherever but it's digital. So that's, that's, that's what means by ownership is transforming. We're owning more and we're owning more digital assets. Uh, also, why we should we care? Because NFTs uh, are very powerful tool uh, to match that transformation. Mm -hmm. NFT can be considered an asset in itself, as I said, that's 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 cool, but that's not we not exactly why we are here. We are we are here because NFT can be considered an asset certificate, which means it can point to uh, different items. Uh, it can really regulate uh, your ownership and give you like uh, ability to kind of have this ownership and uh, layer of management of to on top of your uh, your assets. So that's very interesting. Uh, smart contracts, of course. Uh, if you want to uh, monetize your assets, you want to have certain rules on top of them. For example, you want to have, like, if you want to sell like an item, you want to have realities on top of these uh, items over time. You can do that with the smart contracts. If you want to, uh, for example, have time locks, so people like should own your uh, the item you sell for a certain uh, period of time, you can do that. Uh, a lot of things. Uh, also, today, if we're talking a, a little bit technical, we have a lot of uh, types of NFT, of uh, NFT standards. So uh, we have uh, NFTs that can be a standalone uh, uh, 721 uh, NFT, uh, ERC uh, 721. Uh, that's uh, that's a, a standalone uh, NFT, uh, which means it gives you one-to-one -one, uh, relationship with other like uh, digital assets or any kind of assets. Uh, also, you have like ERC-1155, which means you have, uh, which points to multiple assets. You can group assets under one NFT. So that's always also great and gives you like ability to save on uh, transaction fees and stuff like that. And uh, it makes sense, right? Like. At the end of the day, when you own on uh, assets, it's not necessarily like you own one item. Sometimes you, a few items together, me gives you like the, uh, like the sense of like utility for one asset. Also, there is like ERC nine nine eight. This is like uh, like portfolio uh, uh, NFT. So you can own multiple assets uh, underneath this. Uh, uh this uh, this uh, um uh this nft standard so you can have um, it's an extension actually of uh, erc721 uh, so it gives you like uh, top bottom or bottom up bottom up uh, ownership of uh, of a set or a portfolio of uh, nfts so just to recap nfts are very powerful 
and kind of matches the demand for have demands of uh, users having too many assets that they want to manage uh, uh, digitally. All right. Uh, also, uh, why why should we care? As I mentioned, people have a lot of assets and they want to manage them. Uh, the, the really like truly, if we look at today's uh, uh, average user or like uh, person, people have really uh, uh, like they are like uh, the person's financial literacy has been improving uh, uh, massively. Like many people, like back back in the day, uh, you couldn't you you hear like you didn't hear a lot of people like talking about investing, trading. And all that kind of stuff. These days, all people are on this uh, train. All people are like on the screens. They are looking into like uh, finding uh, ways to invest their money instead of sitting there. They are trying to find ways to monetize their assets. Uh, the inter inter uh, like there are true uh, entrepreneurship uh, spirit now. A lot of people uh, doing this kind of uh, work just to be like out there uh, and like monetizing their money, uh, their like assets. Uh, also, because we're talking about, we are like in this era of like globalization, uh, uh, digital assets are no longer uh, bound by geography. Uh, I can't, here we are like, uh, I'm sitting here behind my screen, uh, for my screen, I'm talking to you uh, uh, globally. Uh, so this means people can also trade globally, can swap, exchange, sell, uh, auction uh, their assets globally. So that's something we need to think about and enable users to, to do. Uh, also, content creators are looking for independent ways to manage their intellectual properties. Uh, back in the day, you have to go through like, um, uh, certain financial systems uh, to to do your work uh, that these are like heavy systems a lot of red taping people do not want that people want a platform that enables them to do the, what they want the way they like because at the end of the day as I said financial literacy is improving so th that's exactly why NFT is kind of important because as, as you can see, people want to manage their assets on their own because they know exactly what they want. All right, what's, what's now let's talk a little bit about the NFT landscape today. Maybe two years ago, nobody heard uh, about NFTs or maybe last year, nobody heard about NFTs and now it's everywhere. Everybody is talking about it. Why? Uh, why we, we talked about that, but what's the landscape today? If we look at the landscape, it's gonna look like this. It's first, you're gonna see uh, celebrities capitalizing on the hype. And yes, I say hype because we are there now. Uh, uh, people, uh, like if you look at this tweet, Jack sold this tweet for $2.9 million. Why? Because there was someone out there willing to pay that amount of money for this uh, first uh, tweet. Uh, that Jack uh, published on his platform. So you have a lot of celebrities. You're talking about like people have like celebrities have uh, uh, catalogs selling their own uh, NFTs, Paris Hilton, Jack, Snoop Dogg, you name it. All these people out there uh, capitalizing and using uh, uh, NFTs uh, because they could. Also, this is one one side. This is my personal view in the landscape. This is one one side of the equation. The other side of the equation looks like this. Uh, community, like the blockchain community, is dabbling really uh, with this NFT. We see a lot of uh, marketplaces out there, people selling uh, images, um, um, uh, like uh, videos. Um, mildly, mildly popular, like artists selling their like uh, uh, their like uh, pr production. Uh, so it looks like this. Um, 
this is great. I'm, I'm not against this. This is uh, part of the of the journey. I would call it a journey because we have to start somewhere, and starting somewhere uh, looks like this uh, today. At least that's how I see it, which is great. Uh, but we have to evolve a little bit uh, uh, more than this. All right. Uh, so that takes me to the next slide, talking about where are we headed with this whole. Uh, NFT thing. Uh, if we look at the Gartner hype cycle uh, for emerging technologies, uh, this if you look at this uh, uh, this cycle, uh, I believe personally NFTs sit right in the middle of the uh, technology trigger uh, uh, cycle. We are still in the hype. Uh, there is no problem with that. There is no shame in that. That's how technology works. And we have to evolve. If you look at this exact diagram, uh, there are too many, like the best example that we can apply to this diagram is internet itself. Like back in early 90s, uh, not too many people believed in internet. Like they thought it might be a nice toy. Kids like uh, internet. Maybe they do like their own thing in the internet. We don't care at the end of the day. It's something we don't care about. And many people even thought internet is gonna die out uh, when we hit 2000 because of the 2000, the 2000 bug. So look at where we are now. So uh, this diagram uh, kind of follow exactly like the uh, uh, tech bubble. Uh, you start with a hype, you peak, you crash, uh, but after that, after the hype wears out and like be, true believers and innovators still persist and go keep going with the, what they with, with what they believe in uh, the technology it will take off will go into the slope uh, of alignment uh, and after that uh, we get like we're gonna have like uh, steady successful uh, uh, products or uh, uh, platforms, projects, whatever you want to call it. So that's how I see NFTs. That's how I personally view it. Uh, NFTs still getting started. And I, I see it, uh, I don't see it as a hype. I see uh, NFT as having a future because I'm seeing the utility. I'm seeing the usage for NFTs. You, like us people, need like uh, different ways to manage our like uh, assets. And NFTs is one way of them. I'm not saying it is the way. Uh, the market is big. People have different uh, preferences. At the end of the, way, uh, the day, uh, different people are uh, going to have uh, to use different platforms. Uh, I can see uh, NFTs uh, being uh, the, uh, the engine of a lot of these uh, platforms. So NFTs is here to stay. NFT is not hype. That's that's my... my uh, uh, what I believe in, and that's why I'm part of Startify, and that's why I'm uh, I'm talking here today about NFTs because I truly believe uh, NFTs is here to stay. Uh, this takes me to uh, next slide. How is Startify leveraging NFTs? Because I, as I said, I believe in NFTs. I believe it is here to stay. Yes, we are in the hype uh, hype cycle, but that's fine. Uh, let's let's say like I know a lot of us here like in the crypto world understand this terminology. To, like we are still in the bull market, and the way we, at Startify we we think about things, we raise funds in the in the bull market, and we put our heads down and build build uh, a platform in the bear market. Uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm glad to see that Startify has already uh, finished. Uh, the raising part, we already finished the raising part. Uh, the company has uh, raised $1.4 million um, with awesome investors uh, of ours. Uh, so that means that part is done. The hard part is done. Getting uh, our investor to believe in our, um, our mission, our vision. Uh, so we have that done, that's the hard part. The fun part is building. Uh, now we are building, we are building the team, we are building the product, uh, and we are here to stay even after uh, 
like uh, the slope of alignment. We are here to to stay with uh, with uh, an actual platform, a platform that is user friend friendly for the average non tech savvy person. This is very important to us. Uh, if you if you think about the internet back in the day, everybody like even like the browsers or oh, sorry the websites, they, like they were gonna tell you about like oh we use HTML for our uh, website, we use JavaScript, we use you use Ajax Ajax uh, or like jQuery. That's cool, but why should I care, right? Uh, I am here to use the website to to have do my own thing. I don't care about the technology. And that's how exactly we see it. NFTs are awesome, but I'm not gonna be uh, back, like after I'm done with, uh, after uh, Starfire is done with the platform, we're not gonna be talking about uh, NFTs. We're gonna be talking about asset management uh, uh, system uh, for content creators, for writers, educators, vloggers, artists, influencers, uh, the, uh, any, any user uh, can come in, non tech savvy. You don't need to care about uh, blockchain. You do not to care. Uh, you don't need to worry that if you know NFTs inside out or not. All what you care about is using the platform. We worry about the technology. You worry about uh, managing your your uh, your assets. Uh, also, we're talking about uh, at uh, Startify. We're trying to build an EVM uh, compatible platform that is blockchain agnostic. That means uh, we are building uh, a platform that uh, that is uh, a multi blockchain out of the box. So we're gonna be like uh, making sure users come to us and use our platform using uh, their um, blockchain of choice. Uh, blockchain network of choice could be like Ethereum, BSC, Matic, uh, uh, Solana, whatever. Uh, you can use it uh, uh, as long as uh, you have your assets, you wanna have your assets in that, uh, in that uh, network, fine, you can use it. Or even if you want to like migrate or like switch, uh, take your assets to some, somewhere else, that's fine, we can, we can help you with that. Uh, so what we're doing exactly, uh, we are providing two things uh, to our users. Uh, the first one is the marketplace. This is the obvious one. Uh, at the end of the day, you need to build uh, autonomous communities. Uh, uh, because if, uh, I, I, I said earlier, like uh, we have like user are like uh, are global now. Uh, there's no geog geographic boundaries. So we're talking about communities that share a common interest. If I'm in like uh, into like uh, uh, collecting uh, uh, like art, I'm gonna be in that kind of community. So community is gonna grow organically. They're gonna be like uh, uh, interacting with each other's people. Like gonna be like uh, selling, swapping, auctioning uh, their items uh, within these like uh, autonomous uh, 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 ecosystems. Uh, so that's that's the obvious the marketplace. Uh, the second one, uh, this is the the one we like we are really excited about, is the launchpad. Uh, launchpad. Uh, this is uh, something we came up with at Startify. Uh, many people, like uh, let's say influencers, uh, educators, need time to produce uh, their content. Right? They need time and they need financial support. So we thought this might be a great idea to host initial NFT offerings for, for, the, for content creators like influencers so they can um, run their campaigns to, uh, to like raise funds uh, and give early access to their communities. So they, they give that. Uh, so it's a win-win situation really. Um, uh, the content, cre content creators uh, get that fund and so they can uh, sit back, block off some time and work on their content uh, to kind of release it, right? And the, the community have that kind of access, uh, re early access uh, to the content and with discounted uh, discount, maybe like if that content creator want to have like uh, discounts and just as a way to say thank you to my community, they can do that. They can have uh, 
like even before minting these NFTs in the in the launchpad, they can have uh, any sort of uh, business rules on top uh, on it, like royalties, whatever you name it, they can do that. So that's 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 a way to enable uh, community and nourish like these communities to grow uh, uh, and uh, truly truly manage their assets uh, using the Certify um, uh, platform. Uh, so we, we have like one minute. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm wrapping up. Actually, this is the last slide. Uh, I'm sure. done. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> questions? Uh, really, very great, interesting uh, topics. And uh, wishing to you all the best in Startify. That's so much. And definitely, uh, uh, you will be one of the leaders over there. Thanks, I appreciate it. Is there any questions uh, over there? Uh, Feel free to ask him. He's the expert in this domain. Uh, and uh, also, we encourage everyone to connect with Ravia and uh, Vuva. Uh, you can ask him any questions. You can take his questions. I have a question, if possible. Yes, please. Regarding the launch uh, about the IDO for the NFTs. Uh, so, uh, when we want to create an NFTs in which smart contract we need to uh um, create it minted and uh, when we launch it uh, is it for example can we launch in different uh blockchain as we had a bridge between these blockchain 100 percent, you got it right uh as i mentioned it's a uh, blockchain agnostic uh you can uh you should be able to uh uh launch uh your campaign using uh, your blockchain of choice uh, at the end of the day, uh, we are here to kind of uh, give you the ability to uh, build your community on the blockchain you like. And if you want to move across different platforms, that's fine. Uh, but I have to say one thing uh, that is uh, we are just getting started. Uh, we are very transparent, transparent with our community. Uh, we are starting with uh, uh, PSC uh, uh uh, network for now. Why? Uh, because they are cost effective uh, and uh, we thought it might be a great start for now to do that. Uh, uh, but uh, again, like we recognize that there are a lot of awesome projects and networks out there. We do not want to boil the ocean. We're starting with one blockchain, but after that on the roadmap, uh, we are looking at uh, Matic, for example, Polygon. That's going to give us like, uh, we're going to leverage Polygon to uh, have kind of a bridge between different uh, platforms uh, to for users to use whatever the platform they need and also uh, switch, swap, or like, uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Do you have a testnet where we can uh, create our own and test it how it's gone and how we can uh, fundraise? It's just like a, for the beginnings so uh, to make in... Uh, 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 YX and uh, yeah, um, just to as a uh, as a prototype for uh, for fundraising. For sure. Uh, so if you follow our um, social media, you're gonna notice that we are preparing to release uh, our MVP uh, uh, as soon as we go uh, uh, public with our like uh, sale. Uh, so that's gonna be hopefully. A uh, in the next month, we're going to go out with the marketplace. Uh, what's next on our uh, roadmap is the uh, launch pad. Uh, I just want to make sure like everybody know that not anybody can go out there and like uh, uh, create a, a campaign. Uh, I, people have uh, like uh, influencers or content creators have to go through like a process, like a, like uh, like just a vetting process to make sure like uh, People have actual use for this uh, uh, INO, uh, uh, and after that, we're gonna make sure like we run that uh, uh, campaign for them. So now it's not uh, it's for private, not for public. No, it's for public, but you have to be approved to to uh, like we are in in, in development, right? Uh, we we close yeah. the public the seed and private uh, rounds uh, just a few weeks ago. 
So, mm -hmm. uh, as I said, like uh, we are, uh, the hard part is done. Now we are fun part, which is building. Uh, we're going very fast uh, to like with the community. We're trying to go out, release what we have, and give that feedback from the community because, uh, as everybody knows, uh, blockchain community is very, very vibrant, uh, very responsive, and always give you great feedback all the time. So we're trying to kind of take advantage of that. Where is that token where we can buy now the token and pancake? No, it's not. And for everybody, we are not, uh, we haven't released our token there yet. There, yet. there are a lot of, uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of uh, scams out there uh, claiming to be us, uh, claiming to be like uh, doing the public sale. Uh, we are not uh, uh, um, live yet we are waiting okay. for the market uh, hopefully by the end of the month or early next month we're gonna go live uh, follow our um, uh, twitter official, official official twitter and telegram uh, mm -hmm. to to know when exactly that's uh, gonna be live okay great thank you very much hope all the best for you thank you so much thank you so much everyone